Welcome back to the tea of the day. I'm back with a second cup. New cup, just so you knew, is a second cup. All right, let's see how this goes. All right. Hmm. Why am I hearing geese? So, again, um. I'm not, I'm not getting the other flavors. I'm still getting, I'm getting more of a balance this time because I, I steeped it longer. I went more like uh, uh, five to six minutes on this one. I, so I gave it a good strong brew. For black tea, you generally don't need more than five minutes, but I went nice, to, nice and strong to make sure I had this full. And uh, I am definitely getting more of the black tea now. Um, I don't really get an overall flavoring of cocoa, but I think the idea is that it's more of just an accent for depth. And I'm not getting much of the um, vanilla still either. It's still the apple and the marigold uh, balanced with the black tea that is the prominent flavors here. And this, I didn't do milk this time. And I can drink it like this, but I still would prefer having the milk in there, I think. I, did, I do think it gives it an extra level that, you know, that really helps this smooth out properly. But yeah, this is this is a good tea. If you're a black tea drinker, this is a nice variety that you probably like. Um, it, de it definitely has just it's not fruity, so it's not like you're when you're getting the apple. It's like all of a sudden this crazy hibiscus uh, flowery uh, kind of tea or anything like that. Okay, so it's nothing crazy like that, but it definitely gives it a slightly different feel from just a traditional heavy black tea. So it gives it just a nice little light kick. So that I do like that effect. Yeah, and I'm hard pressed to say anything else about it other than what I've already covered between the two versions. So, two versions for you. Boom, boom. There you go. Ah! Y'all have a nice tea day.